Hi, thank you for viewing my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Harley Davidson Street 750. It is powered by a 749cc engine. This beautiful bike is from 2018. Newer models would look the same, no major changes. Coming from lower displacement bikes, I immediately felt the difference in power. The suspension is good, but the front suspension may be a little too soft. Uh, this is belt driven of course. While newer bikes would have LED from the signal lights from the tail to the front, this one is still equipped with uh, standard halogen bulbs for the turning lights, turning signals. The tail light and the brake lights, however, are already LED. Michelin tires for the front end here. And this unit is already upgraded to screen equipment, exhaust, and intake. here a fuel tank capacity of 13.1 liters. The Street 750 still has the traditional key ignition but it also comes with a security key fob. The bike is equipped with a simple speedometer. From a naked modern bike with a digital dashboard you have to get used to a more simpler instrument panel here at the Street 750. Now let's check out the handlebar switches. It's pretty similar to what you see in lower displacement bikes, in scooters and uh, yeah, the Duke 390 that I used to have. Engine cool switch, turning signals, starter and horn buttons. It's your standard. Some more upgrades that this bike already has. Yeah, the crash bars there. This is a very, very important accessory or upgrade for added protection to the rider and of course to the bike in case of an unfortunate crash or collision or sometimes when unintentionally the bike loses balance and falls down the street 750 is already equipped with abs so that's an added confidence to the rider of course this bike is liquid cool, something that's different from other Harley Davidson models. That's also the reason why people are complaining about the heat from when the fan blows the hot air to the rider. But it's only an issue in the city, city driving and stop and go situations. But when you're riding really fast in the highways, it's not an issue anymore. Riding it at first, I had to get used to the new foot position where the foot peg is and the brakes. Because it's not directly to the center and this cruiser sits really really low that's why the foot positions the foot controls are really different 
the street 750 is a little bit forward but not as forward in some cruisers I am 5'7", five, 5'7", seven, five seven. and when I got used to the foot position, I find it really comfortable. The speedometer is really simple, although you also get the digital window where you can see your RPM and the gear position. The gear position only is visible when the clutch lever is fully released. That same digital window also shows your trip A, trip B, and a clock. And you'll be surprised how easy this bike gets in and out of traffic. It's nimble and it's a really really fun motorcycle. not easy to put the gear in neutral at first, it's something that you have to get used to. It's not unique to this bike anyway. I had the same issue or problem with my 2390 before. You have to upgrade to a louder pipe such as this one. The stock pipes are just way too silent. This is how it looked like stock but after a few kilometers and some minor upgrades it is how it looks like now. You will be surprised at how affordable this Harley Davidson is at less than 400,000 pesos. So check it out. Thank you for watching and uh, ride safe.